In this next video, we're going to go over the uh, Chapter 4 group exercise, exporting and plotting profiles for Road 1. This is exercise 4.6. Uh, in the first step, it has us open a civil geometry uh, file, which I've already done. Um, the next, uh, we're going to right click and hold in a blank area uh, and open up the user preferences. So take your, route, uh, your, your mouse, right click and hold, and you should get user preferences. We're going to verify that the working directory is clear and the Kogo preferences is clear for the job directory. When these are clear, what uh, Power Geopack does is it uses the active uh, directory of the open uh, file. So I go ahead and close the user preferences down. Then we're going to uh, open classic Kogo and open the 200 GPK. To open up the classic Kogo, I'm just going to go to my old road tools. I'm going to use this icon right here, or you can go to the geometry pull down road geometry and then coordinate geometry. I'm going to click on the select GPK. There's my 200 GPK, and I'm going to hit OK to that. I am then going to open up Navigator, and I'm going to look at the chains that I have in here and the profiles. Now, if in, it states in sta uh, step number seven if the road one chain and the road one EX and ex uh, proposed profile were not there, you would need to uh, follow the next steps, step eight, nine, and ten, where you export those out. And just to do that, uh, we have the profiles and chains in there, but just to show you how that is done, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the road one uh, existing and proposed. This is a step you don't have to do if, if you already have them in your GPK. I'm going to delete those elements. And then I'm going to switch it to the chain and delete road one. Okay. So those are out of my GPK. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export those out of SS4 uh, Civil Geometry. I'm going to go to my general geometry tab and before I do that I'm actually going to open up the profile model or profile view of road one. I'm going to verify that the profiles have names. This one's called road one PR. This one's called road one EX. And I'm also going to verify the name of this alignment and it's called road one. So to export those all I have to do is go over to the general geometry tab I'm going to go to the export to native tool, second row, second icon. And all it does here, it says locate elements and then reset to complete. So I'm going to select the road one chain. I'm going to select the road one PR and the road one EX. And then I'm going to reset to complete. It's going to ask me for the GPK. I'm going to say 200. And now I'm going to verify that the alignments and profiles were exported by going to navigator. I look at my chains, there's road one. If I look at my profiles, there's road one EX and PR. Now, one thing you need to worry about if you do use the MoDOT baseline proposed feature definition, which we are using uh, on, the, on the alignments, if you delete this alignment, it will delete it automatically from the GPK because they are they're linked. Uh, but it doesn't go the other way. If you delete it from the GPK like we did, it doesn't delete it from SS4. So just be aware that if you modify or change the same item in Kogo will, will change as well. Okay, so now we're down at step number uh, 11 and we're going to create a new, a new file called profile underscore J2B0200 and it's a 2D file. So we're going to go ahead and do a file new. No wizard if you get this dialog box. For the seed file, I'm going to go up to CAD standards, seed files, design English, go about two-thirds of the way down. I'm going to find my iProject 2D Power Geopack. I'm going to open it as read only. For the name, again, I'm going to call it profile underscore J2P0200. I'm going to type it once and copy it. And in the description, I'm going to put 2D. Oh, 
2D. Once I have it saved like so, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to that and create the file. I'm going to check in my previous file. Once the file is created, I'm going to go ahead and reference in some of my files that I have created up to this point. And so I'm going to go to the uh, reference dialog. I'm going to do a tools attach. And I've got a couple or two, three files out there. I'm going to do the civil geometry. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, plan and terrain. And I'm also going to do, actually, I'm going to leave the civil geometry or the uh, terrain off. I'm just going to do the land boundaries. So civil geometry, land boundary, and plan. These are listed in step number 12. So I'm going to add those. I'm going to hit OK uh, and attach uh, these files. If I do a fit view, there's my, my items right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to move to a blank area and I'm going to start uh, finding an area where I can plot my profiles. And I, I have to use the old classic tools to um, plot my profiles because they haven't created that tool in, in um, SS4 yet. And so in step 14 it says open the DNC manager and the DNC manager is this icon right here. You can also get it from the Geopack pull down road slide down to DNC or design and computation manager. DNC for short. So we click on that. I'm going to put those on back. And here's our DNC manager. And uh, the tool that we're going to want is we're going to want to plot profiles. So uh, we're going to go down and uh, go into the design, uh, go into the drafting standards. So let's go down to drafting standards. We're going to go down to plan. We're going to go down to profile. Sorry, let's do that again. So in DNC Manager, we're going to go down to Drafting Standards. We're going to go into Profile. We're going to go to Existing Ground. And we're going to take the or, or select a 1 inch equals 50 existing ground profile. 1 inch equals 50 existing ground profile. When you click on this uh, item here, it should adjust the title in this box right here. And once, once you have that in the title there, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Draw Plan Profile. When you do that, it's going to ask for a GPK. We're going to load in the 200. That's where our, our Route 63 and Road 1 alignments are. Again, uh, this is an older tool, an SS2 tool, and it does not read the geometry in the DGN file. It reads it out of the GPK. So once I select 200, I'm going to hit OK to that. And then uh, another dialog box will pop up. Pop up with our alignments and profiles in it. So right here we've got all our profiles and that's what we're plotting. So we're going to go ahead and slide some of this stuff out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave these items blank. They come up uh, correct based on uh, or the settings come up correct based on the items that you select over here in, in this dialog here. Okay. So we're going to do the road one uh, existing first, and before we do that, we're going to change our label scale to 50 because we're going to create 50 uh, scale plan and profile sheets. We're going to select road one existing, and again, another dialog pops up, and in this dialog, it kind of has the information of the profile in the top header part. Uh, our beginning station is zero, it goes all the way down to 35 plus 10 and some change. Shows you the beginning and end of elevation, maximum elevation, and minor elevation or minimum elevation. Uh, the scale we're going to change to 50. Uh, the vertical we're going to leave at 10. The begin station is 0. Uh, the end station, all you have to do is hit delete and then hit the tab key. They'll put in the end, end station. Strip grade increment we're going to skip, uh, but what that does is it'll put an elevation out there at every interval uh, that you type in there. So if you type in 100, It'll put a elevation uh, or plot an elevation every 100 feet. Uh, for the ref reference station, it's going to be 0 plus 0, 0, the beginning of our profile. Reference elevation, we just want something a little bit less than our minimum, and so we're going to say 800 to that. And for the XY, we just want to plot this somewhere where it will not cross our plan geometry. So I'm going to just hit the DP button and just click over here to the left.
Okay. Now for our PGL chain, that's going to be the road one, since we're pl plotting road one profiles. And what we do next is we typically draw the cell at x, y, and it just plates, creates this little cell that has a little information on it. Uh, it has the GPK, the chain name, uh, the starting uh, station, um, this, the elevation, the scale, and no gap uh, for our station equations. Okay. Once that's there, we can go ahead and then hit OK to plot this existing ground profile, and that's what our profile looks like. All right, so we're done uh, plotting the existing ground, so I'm going to go ahead and close that dialog down. And then what we're going to do next in step number uh, 20 is we're going to switch our item that we have in uh, our DNC manager selected. We're, we're doing, we were doing existing, now we're going to do proposed. So we're going to go to proposed ground profile. This time we're going to select the 50 scale proposed ground profile, 1 inch equals 50, 1 inch equals 10 vertical. Uh, so let's go down and we're going to select that one right there, 1 inch. Again, 1 inch equals 50 horizontal, 1 inch equals 10 vertical. Once you select that, it should update the banner of this dialog here and we're going to click on draw plan and profile. Again, it needs a GPK, so we're going to use the 200 GPK and we're going to hit OK to that. Now, again, the settings in this dialog box are defined by what you pick in this dialog box over here. So we have a few more items checked on. We're going to turn a few more on. We're going to turn on K values and stopping site distance as well. Okay. Again, our label scale needs to be 50. And this time we're going to do the Road 1 PR. Again, when we click on Road 1 PR, it brings up a very similar dialog box uh, that helped us plot the existing ground. Uh, in here, I'm just checking over some values. Horizontal scale 50, vertical 10 is good. Begin, end station look great. Uh, reference station 0 plus 0, 0 is correct. Reference elevation 800 is correct. The uh, X and Y, I'm not 100% sure if that's correct or not. Uh, if, it, if you don't know, all you have to do is click on Identify Cell, pick the cell, and it will put that information in there for you. Uh, the PGL chain is still road 1, and then here all we need to do is just hit OK, and it will plot our proposed profile. Once you're done with that, we can go ahead and close the DNC Manager. And to close all these uh, dialog boxes that we have open, all you have to do is go back to the, the main dialog box and hit close it, and all the rest of them close down. The last thing we uh, need to do in this exercise is we just need to do a file update server copy. And with that, we are done with the, the group exercise for plotting uh, uh, profiles in Chapter 4.